KT Racing is back with WRC 10, the official video game for the World Rally Championship. Annual titles are tricky to keep fresh, but the WRC franchise has been going from strength to strength in recent years. Can KT Racing keep raising the bar, or will the impending license switch to Codemasters stunt development? Rallying is an unforgiving discipline, and WRC 10 mirrors that. There is nowhere to hide out on stage. It's a bumpy, tree-lined thrill ride from start to finish, and KT Racing has done an excellent job in recreating the speed and stress seen in a rally stage. From the engine roar to the sound of gravel under your tyres, and even the co-driver grunting when you clip a wall, WRC 10 puts you right into the heat of the action, and it is an absolute joy to drive. But it is far from easy. Brake, hairpin right into flat left. WRC 10 is not a newbie friendly title. There are no flashbacks to help you undo a mistake, and no mid session save to give you a break from a 21 km stage. That means it's not for the faint of heart. Even with a wheel, you need the full range of handbrake and shifter to make the most out of WRC 10. You can be quick with a controller, but the game lacks a full automatic gear option and there is no midpoint for traction control. All of which means new players will have a tough time adjusting to the all or nothing nature of rallying. Even the new anniversary mode progression is locked, with players required to beat a set time on one stage before getting to advance to the next. That time doesn't move with your AI level putting up a big barrier for less skilled or newer players to the franchise. For the hardcore fans of the series, its brutal realism is a great thing, but for those wanting to try out WRC 10, it is a long, hard journey. While there are new rallies and plenty of awesome classic cars to try out, career mode has an extremely familiar feel to it. From the way you build your crew, to the spending of resource points and use of your calendar, everything looks the same as last year. It means veterans will feel right at home, but that's not necessarily a good thing when paying full price for a new game. Beyond the reconfigured main menu, the whole game feels very much like last year's. KT Racing doesn't make bad racing experiences. When you are behind the wheel in WRC 10, the car feels alive to your every input. The reworked handling stands out as a big improvement, and the pure racing challenge of WRC 10 truly is unparalleled. The downsides of accessibility and familiarity are an issue though. The lack of changes to career mode hurts, and anniversary mode isn't a game changer unless you're a real WRC historian. All that said though, 
WRC 10 is a terrific racing experience and one players will have great fun with if they have the patience to get used to off-road racing.